In a small town, there was a bus route that ran late at night, known as Route 13. Locals whispered about it, claiming that it was haunted. According to legend, the ghost of a young woman named Sarah, who had tragically died in a bus accident years ago, still rode the bus, seeking something she never found in life. One night, a young man named Alex had to catch the last bus home after a late shift. As he boarded the empty bus, he felt a chill in the air, but he shrugged it off, thinking it was just the cold. The driver, an older man with a tired face, nodded at him without a word. As the bus moved through the quiet streets, Alex noticed that the lights flickered ominously. He glanced at the other passengers, but there were none, only shadows in the corners of the seats. The bus creaked as if it were alive, and a strange feeling settled in his stomach. Suddenly, the driver spoke. You're the only one tonight. His voice was raspy, almost unnatural. Alex felt uneasy, but didn't respond. He stared out the window, the streetlights casting fleeting shadows across his face. Then, just as they approached an abandoned station, Alex caught a glimpse of something in the rearview mirror. A woman in a white dress, her hair floating as if submerged in water. Panic rose in his chest. He turned to look back, but the bus was empty. The driver, still focused on the road, seemed oblivious. Just a bit longer, he said, his voice echoing strangely. She always rides at this hour. Alex's heart raced. Who? Oh, who rides? He stammered. The driver turned his head, and for a moment, Alex saw his eyes empty like dark wells. The lost, he replied. They're always searching for something. As they neared a bend in the road, the temperature dropped and Alex could see his breath. He felt a tug at his sleeve, as if someone was trying to pull him back. He glanced around, feeling a presence behind him, but still saw nothing. Just then, the bus jolted violently. The driver swerved and the lights flickered again. Alex braced himself, certain they were about to crash. But instead, the bus came to a sudden halt. The silence was deafening. In that moment, the air grew thick with sorrow. A soft voice whispered from behind him, Help me. Alex turned slowly, and there she was, the ghostly figure of Sarah, her face pale and desperate. Please, she begged. I can't find my way home. Fear coursed through Alex but something in her eyes stirred his compassion. What do you need? He asked, trembling. Find the place where I fell, she said, tears streaming down her ethereal cheeks. I need to be remembered. Just then, the bus lights flickered one last time, and Alex felt a rush of cold air. When the lights steadied, the ghost had vanished. The driver resumed his usual demeanor, as if nothing had happened. They arrived at Alex's stop, and he stepped off the bus, shaken but determined. The next day, he set out to find the site of Sarah's accident. It took some digging, but eventually, he located the spot, a lonely stretch of road marked only by a small memorial. From that day on, he visited regularly, leaving flowers and speaking her name. Though he never saw her again, he felt a peace settle over him. Route 13 continued to run, but now he understood. The ghosts of the night bus were simply souls searching for closure, and sometimes, all they needed was to be remembered.